Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. The reviews are coming thick and fast now. Got lots of products to review, so and it's Christmas. I'm off work, and uh, well, you got to. I've got to have you sometimes. So uh, from Retros again, um, from a company called the Wild Beer Company, and it's Nebula. So it's uh, an AZ High PA. Well, that's, you know, I've got a beer on the brew. Hazy IPA with fruit aromas and it says drink today. Um, on the back it says the IPA continues to evolve as it takes over the universe. Hmm. Nebula is a beer with breakfast juice drinkability, bold aromas, low bitterness and interstellar haziness. Drink it fresh, it shall never taste better than today. Yeah, can't beat a little bit of bump there can you? So, it does say a lot more on, on, the, on ratebeer.com. So, pour it out, have a look, see what it looks like. So, um, hazy. Hazy gold colour there, uh, white head, good white head on it, good, good carbonation and lace in there. I can see. Oh, strong hoppy uh, aroma to it. So, from the site itself, from ratebear.com, uh, from 118 ratings, 3.56 out of five, which is quite high for, for um, uh, an aggregated beer review website. An hazy high PA with low bitterness but big, big, big hop character. We like to make beers we like to drink. Oh, that's, that's a good way to go. This is one style we can't ignore. Sit back and enjoy our tropical breakfast juice like IPA packed with exciting new hops. Nebula is a showcase of yeast embracing hops. The Vermont Ale yeast is responsible for the hazy appearance as it clings to the hop particles left over from the extreme dry hopping. The yeast actually contributes a whole host of fruity esters which can come across as peachy by themselves but in the end they blend seamlessly into the tropical hop profile we have selected. So I'll pick out some interesting reviews. I'll have a drink first. Oh, definitely hoppy. Good taste of pine in there as well. First review from a few days ago. Opaque milky gold of a thin white head. Uh, 3.9 out of 5 as well. Good review. And a moderate fizz. Fresh floral piney hop aroma. Taste of orange marmalade. Freshly baked white bread, pineapple, lemon, florals, hint of lime, a touch of chalk in the juicy finish. Very tasty, very Moorish, good stuff, and fantastic that you can get all that, you know. <laughs> uh, another one, uh, 3.5 this one, hazy lemon and honey colour, whim of white head, big dank, musty aroma, taste is bone dry, bitter. Well carbonated, lots of subtle stuff in the background. Custard, lemon, herb oil, nice. Custard. So another one, and all these are from the last month. Hazy yellowish colour with a medium sized white head. Aroma of malt, tropical fruit and pine. Medium body and soft carbonation. Taste of pale malt, orange peel, grapefruit, passion fruit, melon and, melon and floral pine. Fruity with a medium lingering bitterness. Pretty standard New England IPA. So, you know, um, a lot of good reviews for it. And I'm only going by the recent reviews. And the reason why I try to keep the recent reviews off the internet is because things change in the world of brewing. Um, and it's always best to stick to the recent reviews, good or bad, you know. 
if you can find recent reviews that is all those reviews were from the last few weeks so all very relevant you know in what I've got in front of me there's been no change I mean obviously all those cans probably drank from the same batches that I have you know drinking this one definitely nice hoppy crisp taste to it you know even at this time of the year really a bit of summer in a glass you know oh five percent so decent strength you can definitely feel it on the back of your throat you know you know you're drinking something with the hops and it's not it's not too hoppy that it's going up to your head or it's not nastily hoppy it's just nice hoppy but strong hoppy you know definite orange grapefruit all that sort of thing good strong aroma and hazy beers there used to be a thing where hazy beers they wouldn't you know they poured a hazy beer in the pub they wouldn't let you drink it they took it away but nowadays the trend is a trend for hazy beers I mean I myself being a home brewer uh, before I was a, a long time before I was a beer reviewer uh, I've brewed a lot of beers and uh you know, some turned out hazy. Uh, Santa's Winter Warmer was one. I can't remember. I think it was Monton's brand. And uh, turned out hazy. Of course, it was ruined, you know, ruined 40 pints. It turned out to be absolutely belting 40 pints. So about 5.5% volume. Really nice, good, strong beer. Oh, you certainly know that you're drinking a good a decent strength uh, beer you know but equally equally as strong in taste aroma and um, you know alcohol Whew. definitely a beer that hits you from the moment you, 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 you know you take the aroma in all the way down to the bottom long lingering taste as well you know you really even now, I can still taste it lasting long. Um, so out of five, would I drink it again? Hell yeah, yeah, it's good beer. Uh, fruit aromas. Yeah, definitely good beer. You know, um, I've got another one of these from the same company, I think, because obviously not seen it before in this neck of the woods in Nottingham. Um, you know, it's another interesting beer to drink. So out of five. Ooh. whilst I wouldn't say it's top 10 material for me but equally I have my own verdict on what's good and what's not and uh, you know some beers have totally shocked me by how good they are others have totally shocked me by you know how, how average or even bad they are you know some of uh, some of my favourites from three years ago just aren't my favourites anymore because obviously we as beer drinkers are trying new beers all the time and certain beers hit the spot and certain beers that you used to think were the best beers are now relegated to uh, a much lesser um, arena like the average category so this one out of five i usually got a, a number straight away in my head so i think about 4.3 out of five whilst it's not in the top 10 20 beers certainly a very good beer for what it is um right anyway thanks for watching see you soon I need to